All right, and we're back with another talk about another picture from Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the game. We are on the fourth picture now. If you haven't seen my commentary for the first three, go back and check those out. This one is quoted as, when unlocking one of the basement doors, it doesn't hurt to have a fellow victim watch your back. So this one is, as it says, Connie is trying to unlock this door and Sunny is sitting close by, sort of babysitting her, making sure nothing bad happens. So, but there's a few little more details that kind of go into this. As Connie, when you are unlocking the door, you are performing a task. And when you're performing a task for Connie's screen, the camera is going to zoom in and be pretty close to the door, right? So now you can't see anything around you. The camera is right there focusing it's as if you're focusing in on trying to get that door unlocked. You don't have time to really concentrate on much that's going on around you. So that is where Sonny comes in. Sonny is there, and as you can see, this pic is taken from his point of view. He can see the peripherals. He can watch her back. And not only that, but he has a stun weapon. He has a bone shard, as you can see right there over on the right hand side, that item that he has collected. Uh, without it, him being there might be pretty useless other than to let Connie know that something's coming. Uh, but with him having the bone shard, he can protect her. Now, the way that he is going to protect her with that bone shard, there are two ways that you can use the bone shard. The first one is to stun a family member from stealth. So you can come up to them stealthily and get them in a stun or a sneak attack, basically. The second is if they are looking directly at you and they know you're there and it's not a stealth situation, what will happen is what is called a close encounter. So if in this case, Leatherface came barreling down that hallway right there with the light in the background, uh, Sonny would be able to run up to him I don't know if you can have a close encounter with Leatherface the same as any other family member or how strong or how weak they are against him during a close encounter. That stuff I can't comment on, but I can tell you that a close encounter happens. Now, what do you do in a close encounter? I don't know, but I'm assuming it's like a little mini game for both players to do to struggle and hopefully Sonny gets the stun in because if he's not successful, He's probably either going to get killed or get hurt, and Connie's going to be there listening to it happen while she's trying to get the door unlocked. So now you can kind of get the stress and the anxiety of what could be happening, you know. You're trying to get the door unlocked, and you can hear Sonny struggling with Leatherface in the background. Like, that's that's going to be a cool like experience right there. So that's pretty much summing up what is going on here in this picture and what could potentially happen in a scenario. Uh, you got some dried blood on the on the left over there where somebody was trying to escape and were most likely unsuccessful. I'll blow the picture up again, let you guys see what there is to see in this picture, but it's pretty self-explanatory with those little details to make everything make sense. I'll see you guys in the next one. These have been really fun to cover. The game is getting closer and closer. I feel it. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. See you later.